What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cashflow Next, the channel of Faith, Trading, and Wealth. And today we're going to be looking at XRP with Ichimoku analysis. Today, you guys, um, XRP has taken a little turn to the downside, but we'll see if XRP will rebound or see if it's going to continue back to the downside. As of yet, we are going to wait and see. But before we get into any analysis, I always want to give God his uh, His glory, his honor, and his praise that he just he deserves on this channel and i have a scripture for you guys today uh, i read this yesterday in my um zoom call my prayer zoom call that i held yesterday i hold a prayer zoom call on sunday so if you're interested in that you know let me know in the comment section if you want to join and i, I could definitely link up with you somehow and figure it out but i'm going to read the scripture for you guys because i think it will bless many people in this time and people need an encouraging word i'm going to do a deeper teaching on this word uh when i get the chance probably tomorrow or I'll probably record it tonight and we'll see uh what 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 happens but other than that i want to read the scripture for you guys so bear with me it's coming out of second chronicles 20 and 17 and it reads you shall not need to fight in this battle set yourselves stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed, nor to, tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. So I'm gonna do a small teaching on this right now, just to give you a little, you know, little this little something, something because just some encouragement. Because I know a lot of us are going through a lot of things right now, and you you have to realize when it says says here when it says here tomorrow go out against them who is them we could say them let, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a taste of what, what to expect them is your situations them is your circumstances that you're going through. them is your trials and tribulation them is your your depression your loneliness your insecurities them is the, or people, places, and things that are coming against your mind, your stronghold, your addictions. That's them. God is is going to fight your battle in overcoming these things that you're going through. That's the, This is the deeper revelation that God gave, given me on this word. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to give that. <laughs> so those things that you're going through, those are them. God's going to battle those things, but there's going to be a way that you need to, to to allow God to fight these battles for you. And it's not just, you know, just even though it just says stand still, it's more than just standing still. And I'm going to give you guys that deeper meat tomorrow whenever I record that video. So prepare for that. It's going to be a very interesting video. I hope it blesses everybody and, you know, encourages people. But for now, we're just going to jump right into the technical analysis. So let's get into it right now. So XRP, as we can see here, we had this breakout of the P wave. Now we're ranging in between this, this cloud here. Because whenever you're inside the cloud, there's always going to be turbulence. We always know this. So it's not a surprise that this is happening right here looking at it on the four hour we we're still bullish so far as long as we do not break this level we're still bullish we got this cloud supporting us right now and it looks like we're, we have a good chance of moving the upside so we're going to wait for that confirmation to move higher go ahead and get rid of it please thank you honey all our time for me All right, so now we're clean. So what I see could potentially happen, we're still in this, you know, range here. Secret spins inside price. The price is just ranging right now. We do have a bearish cross, but it's not. It's, you know, that's the bullish cross. We have a bullish cross here, and we hit cloud, uh, you know, resistance or support right here. So we could bounce here. But what's going to happen, we need to watch this area right in here. Let me go ahead and clean this up for you guys so you guys can see this a lot better. 
right there. So now what we're going to expect for this market and stuff will we see maybe a potential bounce to the upside. If we get this move here, I'm gonna show you why this is gonna happen if it does decide to move to the downside. I'm gonna make this only our charge. So All right, so now let's jump down to the one hour time frame and see what's going on here. The only way that we could see prices dip lower if we break this level here. So I will go ahead and mark that. Bam, right there. I'm making it. So right here, this is where we all need to be. This is where we'll need to break for prices to move lower back to this region. But they did hold this level, as you see here. But if we take a closer look at what's happening, we have price, you know, hold this trend line. Price broke the trend line right here, came back up to retest the trend line, and then bounced back down to the downside. Now we have cheaply span free coming down to the downside here. And we are holding underneath the thing right here. So this is where I'm kind of concerned with price. Because price could still move to the downside. And right here, we have a hanging man formation in the canvas. So we got this rule. So this is a hanging man right here. Hanging man candle. So this is a price action pattern. Whenever you get this, this is allowing us to see price to drop lower. So we could come down to this level and test here and probably hold this level. But if we don't hold this level, expect price to move lower. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm in favor of a bullish move still, just because I'm based off the four hour time frame. We are still above the cloud. We are right on. It. So look at this chart. Um, I like to see price hold here and you could hold at this level. I expect prices to move back to the upside. Let's see what the RCI is saying. RCI is showing so far that we're in a bearish market according to the one hour time frame. The four hour chart is saying that we're still bullish. We're still above the zero level. So that's also a good sign. We do see that they're starting to curve down to the downside, green and the blue. So that's something that I'm definitely going to consider watching for this market to see if it could potentially go back lower. But if it does go lower, I don't think it's going to go too much lower. I think it's just going to come back down to this level right here. We do get a break to the downside. A bullish scenario back, you know, up into these fractal levels and you know, here. This is the whole range that I see where prices could, price could move right now. I'm not one of those... Uh, Analyst that blows smoke trying to hype the market. Uh, I try to give you guys some real, you know, technical analysis. My phone's blowing up right now. <laughs> so, you guys, let me go down to the 15, see if I see anything differently. All right, I'm going to do this. According to the 15, you need to get above this level to move higher. So I will be watching that as well. But I am still bullish as of now. Still further notice. Um, we are getting signs of weakness here, but I think we could hold here. So we will see. We'll see. Uh, but right now, that's my analysis for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, let me know what your thoughts are. And stay tuned for the next video. God bless and peace.